What are some of the damages that could happen to your joints when you have high blood pressure? If you have been suffering from high blood pressure for many years, as we talked before about the damages to your muscles, when you have high blood pressure for a long time, your muscles are all tightened up. So let's say if you have tight muscles in your neck and it stays there, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for the last 4-5 or five years then you have a lot of tightness in your neck muscles over all that time so what happens when the muscles are tight? when the muscles are tight they squeeze the bone together so they squeeze your, your spine in the neck together and what happens when the spine, when the bone gets squeezed together 24 hours a day 7 days a week when they uh, get squeezed together they tend to wear out more quickly over time the cartilage start to wear out that's when you start having arthritis if you have suffered from high blood pressure for a long time your muscle tighten up you are at higher risk of having arthritis in your spine but what happens if you have tightness in your lower back? That means the tightness will lead to more compression of the spine over time that lead to arthritis and joint pain. And what happens if the muscles are tight around your hips? Again, tight muscles around the hips means more compression of the hip joints and you are at higher risk of having arthritis of the hip. What about the little joint of your hands? This is probably more affected than the bigger joints. When you have high blood pressure, there is less blood flow towards the hand. So, especially the little joints. And when it's cold weather, it will be affected a bit, a lot more. Your finger will look purple. And if you have Raynaud's disease, it's going to be a lot worse. If there's less circulation, you are at higher risk of developing injuries to the little joints in your hands and wrists. I've seen a lot of my patients, they are at higher risk of having rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis in their fingers, gout. They are a lot more sensitive to the cold. A lot of people with high blood pressure will be able to tell the weather when the weather gets a bit cold their muscles get all tightened up and their joints start to hurt so there are some of the damages that could happen to your joints when you have high blood pressure